W O W moment. The W O W moment. Iconic, cringe, extra, over the top. These thoughts are likely what come to your minds every time you hear me say these three letters in my food challenges. But when I eat something extraordinary, something delicious, using a simple adjective just isn't enough. That's why it deserves a W-O-W moment. In 2021, I've had countless moments like this, and you've all witnessed them. One of the most frequently requested food challenges has been suggested constantly in the comment section of nearly every food challenge I've done this year, a W-O-W moment challenge. This week, that challenge has been accepted. In this week's food challenge, I'll attempt to consume my favorite W-O-W moments of 2021. This is the ultimate W-O-W moment challenge. That's a lot of deliciousness. Before we get to the challenge, it's time for some cooking. First things first, cookie dough. Balls of cookie dough. These delicious cookie dough balls are about to be deep fried to absolute perfection. I mean, just check out this sizzle. Anyways, after that was all done, I had seven more cookie dough balls left to deep fry, and the final product came out looking pretty solid. After that, I made a pizza with something else. You'll see what I'm talking about later. I followed that up with some delicious mac and cheese bites. Ooh, these things are amazing. And the final thing that I actually made myself for this challenge has been something that's been on my mind, honestly, ever since I ate it. Fluffy pancakes stuffed with marshmallow fluff and topped with Nesquik's strawberry syrup. It sounds ridiculous, sounds crazy, but everyone, it's absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. This all looks absolutely amazing. Oh man, I'm excited to get into this one. Like usual, I'm super excited to get into this food challenge, everyone, but before I do, it's time for me to thank the sponsor of this week's food challenge, Karma. This video is being sponsored by Karma. Karma is an app and Chrome extension that's made to save you money. It ensures that you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. When I say that Karma is meant to save you money, I mean it. While planning this week's food challenge, I used it to buy some of the food online instead of going to the grocery store. And I actually ended up saving quite a bit of money. Karma is super easy to use. All you need to do is download Karma directly from their site or on the Chrome web store. After that, every site you visit, you can track items and you can save popular items that you're interested in and get notified when they're back in stock. You'll also get notified if it's on sale or if it has an active coupon code. Just to show you all how easy it is to use Karma, this is how I used it to buy some of the food for this week's challenge. Just by clicking the Karma logo on the side of the page while I'm shopping, I can get notified when there's a price change and I can add it to my own personalized list. I love Karma's list feature because it helps me keep things organized and helps me with any impulsive purchases I might have. The other cool thing about Karma is that it scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. This is a special feature only available on your computer. That's why using the Karma Chrome extension is a must. You can also earn Karma cash to PayPal when shopping from select retail partners. Everyone, you can get Karma's free Chrome extension using my link. All you gotta do is click the link down below in the description to get started today. Now that that's out of the way, everybody, I have breaking news for all of you out there. In next week's food challenge, you'll see me celebrate my birthday, like I normally do on this channel, with an epic food challenge. I'm gonna be turning 21 years old. I wish. I'm actually turning 23. I wish. Just kidding, everybody. I'm turning 28 years old, and in the next food challenge, I'm gonna be celebrating it. I'm just gonna keep it at that, but I'm also gonna say, if you guys wanna see a sneak peek of next week's epic birthday challenge, be sure to stick around until the end of the video. Anyways, folks, I think it's time to get into this challenge. We have a lot of food to get to. Apple fritters from McDonald's, deep fried cookie dough bites, pizza. That reminds me. I mean, I could just eat regular pizza, but you know, that would be boring. Pizza with some wow sauce. Come on, everybody. Reese's peanut butter cups with an addition, which will be coming very soon. Here's the thing, folks, you all think that What's on the table is what I'm gonna be eating, but there's gonna be some jazzing that's gonna be done. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Chips Ahoy, Hostess, and an epic stack of pancakes right here with marshmallow fluff and strawberry syrup, Subway cookies, and mac and cheese bites over here, and a few other additions to this, which you guys will see in just a few seconds. Whew, I'm ready to get into this challenge, folks. Without further ado, my friends, my family, this is me eating my favorite W.O.W. moments of 2021. Let's do this. First things first, you know what you guys gotta do. Get the video a like if you happen to poop today. Oh. Always forget. Another thing I forget. 
cannot forget the Ben and Jerry's. All right, I think I gotta start with breakfast first. So we're gonna start off with these pancakes. Marshmallow fluff and strawberry syrup. So far, it's going amazing. All right, pancakes are down. Start off on a good note. Those were good. All right, I know you guys are just looking at those Reese's and you're going, Eric, nice, cool, Reese's. What's so great about Reese's, all right? Well, there's a lot of great things about Reese's, but there's a lot of even better things about Reese's and Skippy peanut butter. Now there's something else that's required here. About to find out in about 30 seconds. I'm so excited for this. There we have it, my friends and family. Check it out. Boom. Oh, okay, that just got in the pizza. Whoops. Just pretend like that never happened. I mean, hey, it might actually be pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. Peanut butter chocolate sauce down. This is the vanilla caramel fudge. Pint from Ben and Jerry's. Oh my goodness, just check that out. Look at that top. That is a fantastic looking pint right there. <clears throat> it feels pretty weird eating non melted ice cream. Alright, folks, well, ice cream is down. Ugh, that was good. All right, I think we gotta get into these mac and cheese bites right here. Mm. Mm. All right, mac and cheese bites are now down. So far it's going amazing, all right? Now, everybody, I'm really curious about these. I think it's time to get into these deep fried cookie dough bites next. The thing about these is that they definitely need some chocolate sauce. I mean, come on, why not? Why not? Now that is what I'm talking about. Not bad. All right, everybody, well, the cookie dough bites are down. Now I think it's time to get into our apple fritters. You guys haven't tried McDonald's apple fritters before? They are absolutely amazing. And yes, I did say that apple fritters from McDonald's are amazing, because they are. Mm. Fritters are down. Now, I went and got some Subway cookies because I recall Subway cookies being absolutely legendary in a challenge I did this year. And uh, you know what? Why not? Where are my oatmeal raisin people at? Comment down below. <clears throat> I wonder if these cookies are gluten free. Huh. Oh well. Alright, well, well, cookies are down. We have one. Two, three, four more items left. Uh, now it's time to head on over to my cereal creation. In a video I did this year, I ate Frosted Flakes. Not just Frosted Flakes. I ate Frosted Flakes with a lot of extra sugar on it. Sugar in the form of... Well, you're about to find out. I'm not doing the full box though, because I don't want to get too crazy. And you're going, Eric, don't keep going, Eric. Don't keep going. Well, guess what, everybody? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. Because when I tasted this creation, my mind was blown. Okay? My mind was blown. I mean, hey, at least I'm eating this with unsweetened almond milk. All right? Balance. Now that, my friends, is a real bowl of cereal.
All right, everybody, well, cereal is down. Oh, goodness. In a video this year, I made a cookie tower. Now you're probably asking yourselves, you made a cookie tower with what? Well, I made a cookie tower with icing, and it was legendary. Just take a moment, everybody. There we go. Oh, goodness. This is how I cut my calories. It's wild sauce time. I feel like this pizza just needs something else. Get you guys every single time. Pizza's down for our last item of deliciousness tonight. We have something that's near and dear to my heart. We have cinnamon rolls. Not just regular cinnamon rolls. Hostess cinnamon rolls. You know what? Actually, before I do this, I need to actually ask you guys what's been your favorite WOW moment of 2021? Okay, let me know down below in the comments. And also be sure to stick around for next week's epic challenge. If you guys are still with the flow of the video, comment down below, Nutella. And just like that, everyone that has been another food challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I gotta say, I loved everything in this food challenge, everybody. What was your favorite WOW moment of 2021? Comment down below. And also be sure to stay tuned because next week I got a big birthday video dropping. A 12,000 calorie cake is just not gonna cut it. Listen everyone, if you guys wanna keep watching more food challenges with me, the party does not have to end here. I'm gonna put another food challenge similar to this one that I think you're gonna enjoy right along the sidebar over there, along with a food challenge playlist of mine that I also think you're gonna enjoy. I'll put it along the sidebar as well right there. And if you haven't already, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.